I would be remaining silent from here on, but I felt like I needed to clear a few things up and respond to Nikki's allegations against me and a lot of the lies that she told. So Jamie Perkins has responded again in his second video, and this was following on from his ex-wife, Simply Nikki, i.e. Nikki Thought, where she released a series of Instagram stories, basically debunking what he was saying in his original video. Now, his original video, he came out and he said that she was abusive, that she had withheld the kids from him, um, a lot of other different things that were going on in there. There were cheating allegations coming forward and everyone was patiently waiting for, you know, Nikki's video and Nikki decided that she didn't want to release it. He said that basically in her Insta stories that she wasn't going to release it. She actually recorded it, was going to press upload and then didn't. Nikki didn't want it affecting the children, she didn't want it back and forth and she basically turned around she said that everything he is saying isn't true, she wasn't aggressive, he used to film her and try and poke a reaction out of her. She basically debunked a lot of what he was saying. Now at this point, I mean a lot of people kind of assumed that it would be over, Jamie actually took his video down, Nikki said that you know even though she hasn't had contact with him that he probably felt bad about everything that had happened um and then took it down and surprisingly jamie has now come back with another video now i said in my last video i said i'm glad this is now being wrapped up um first and foremost i don't really think any of this should be online especially as the children are a part of the jamie perkins family channel i don't think it was necessary um they're gonna see it when they're older i mean you only have to look at uh, at the video list and there are pictures of his children very 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 clearly and then the next few videos are basically him bad mouthing the mum as you can see this is from the intervention order and it speaks about children and i'm going to read it because i want to get the wording correct now jamie has now come forward and has basically said that whatever nikki is saying is lies he does in fact pay for the girls uh, tuition fees the kids tuition fees he also states that you know he never locked her out of the uh of the youtube channel and there's a lot of other things as well and you know the thing is is that you know he's coming back on and he's saying a lot of the same things that he was saying whilst also providing somewhat new receipts to what he's trying to say as well now i have given so many different opinions on this and to be honest, now that it's become this back and forth slanging match, I'm just going to go with what I was originally saying. This should not, no matter how you feel about your ex-wife, your ex-husband, whoever, whatever, especially in the way that those children are present online, this should not be made public. And to be honest, I didn't really think I'd be having to make another video on this. I do feel like a lot of people were choosing sides between the two creators and initially i was like you know what i want to hear what she has to say and then you're hearing what he has to say and then it all just for me okay i'm going to be completely honest for me it all just fizzles down to the fact that i feel ultra sad for the kids in that situation the one thing that i will always side eye jamie over which is what i've mentioned relentlessly is the fact that i don't feel like kids should be used for content and i feel like he could just go away and make any other type of content where he wasn't limited to you know the one upload a week that nikki and him decided over he could go and do other things he does combat this a certain to a certain degree he combats it by basically saying that you know he wants to be able to work a job where he can be present for the girls etc etc but i mean a lot of people you know who are single parents are able to work different types of jobs and still be there for their kids on a 50 50 basis um I don't know. I, I just think the whole family vlogging thing, I think it's a bit of a cop out. And I think as much as, and I know this might annoy, it might annoy a lot of people, but I'm just going to say it anyway. I feel like I've annoyed quite a few people over this topic. Um, no matter what happens, no matter what has happened in this relationship where, you know, either Nikki was abusive or he was abusive, no matter what is going on, you know, a lot of the fame that I don't know if both of them had, I know him especially because he runs the family channel. I'm not really that sure about Nikki, to be honest, but a lot of this is like very family channel orientated. It involves the family channel. It involves the kids. From what I gather from what, you know, a lot of people are saying is the fact that 
this shouldn't be intertwined with the fact that you also have a family channel and you're talking about the kid's mum or you're talking about the kid's dad and this is just like a weird snowball effect you know we all talk about the detrimental effect of family vlogging on on kids but i feel like this is just re this is just this is just pushing it you know i do think that no matter what has happened it's obviously been big and traumatic for either of them to come out and to say things but I do just think that not a lot of people are really thinking about how this is going to affect the kids. Like I even went on Nikki's his Instagram and then this is what came up. It was like, oh, Jamie's just released a part two. We're waiting for your upload. And I'm like, guys, like, like settle this, settle this in court, settle this with the police, settle this offline. I just feel like this much of a public airing, especially if you've got young kids that are online, is just it's just not good it's not a good look and i i'm i stand by that i'm really not on anyone's side and a lot of people were kind of assuming that i was leaning more towards nikki and that was because i just wanted her to give an opinion and i'm not going to just blindly believe something that somebody says i need to hear both sides of it amy's now come back into it saying oh i've got more to say i'm just thinking like this could go on forever and those poor kids are going to be stuck in the middle unfortunately this is why most men who've been through some of the stuff that I've gone through never speak out because they're scared people won't believe them. And if they don't have evidence, people don't believe them. If they have evidence, people question, well, what did you do first? How were you at fault? What did you do to cause the reaction that you got? And that's pretty much what people have been saying. And I do think this is a real issue where, you know, not a lot of men are believed, you know, it, it's no lie that men have a really high rate of suicide and it's, it's incredibly sad. So don't get it twisted when, you know, when I say that it's obviously, it is a real big thing where people do not believe men that come forward. However, I think that yes, there will be a few people, quite a few people that will go, I'm not going to believe you because you're a man, you're saying it's about Nikki, etc, etc. But then I feel like in this day and age and in this circumstance airing it out on social media especially especially if you are noticeable um figures online you are going to have people that want to think about things a little bit more critically and that doesn't mean to say that that they don't believe the person that's coming forward but they just want more information and that's just the way that i thought about it and now that i've kind of heard both sides of it i'm very firmly back in the camp of do you know what do you know what? I don't feel like we should be making part one, two, three, and four, and fives. If you have children online, if you don't have children, you want to come online, you want to be able to do this, absolutely fine. If you've got children, a part of a family channel, and you upload them quite regularly, and you're out here bashing their mum, or bashing the dad, or whoever, whatever's going on, and they are a part of a family channel, I don't feel like they're thinking of the kids. I'm just going to read out some comments uh, that people have left. I'm going to try and get it from both sides of the argument. But people have a lot to say about this understandably i am on the side of the girls both of these adults need to learn how to co-parent and keep your private life private it's he said she said and somewhere in between in the truth jamie should have never started this whole mess and it was unprovoked his ex was wrong raise your children in peace and keep the world out of it someone else said i believe this man not because i ever hated nikki or anything but because not believing him is the same as not believing a woman in the same situation i'd rather believe a victim found out they lied than not believe and find out it was truly happening and with his receipts as a reasonable doubt cast on nikki his character and that's enough for me and someone else said why do people bring their issues to the internet are you looking for validation if she is abusive call the police you both are adults with children sad situation you both are focused on the wrong thing at this point trying to prove who is more worse you are not together anymore move on get therapy this is not healthy and as you can kind of see it is sort of divisive i mean in his comment section a lot of people are pro what is going on over there but unfortunately what is happening right now is it's just going to be made into an absolute bloodbath i i can imagine i can almost foresee it happening they're going to probably go back to court over this nobody wants to have their their dirty laundry kind of aired up everywhere i mean you know he's done it to her she's then retaliated back he's now going again and this just does not it just doesn't look good whatsoever i'm not entirely buying the fact that he took the video down initially because 
he didn't want people to send hate to Nikki. I remember he said this initially, but he must have known that this would have happened. I mean, there is no way on earth that he put he's putting all this stuff up in the you know in the mindset that no one's gonna send her any hate that just doesn't make a lot of sense i think that in terms of co-parenting you know whatever has been going on and some people go oh what do you mean whatever's going on she's abusive da, 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 da. well she's saying he's abusive it's like both of them are saying different things and the people that are egging it on in the comment section saying oh nikki now has to respond like it it's no entertainment in that regard to be honest with you i just think it's sad i i really do i think that them airing any and I, I do understand that jamie is the one that has been uploading the videos he did start this uh nikki was just defending herself because she was getting a lot of hate and i do understand why she did that but if nikki now comes on and she now says something else like the kids are going to be the ones that have to suffer youtube has allowed me to be a stay at home work from home dad and while going through this whole battle to be a 50 50 dad something that was used against me was the fact that i used to work a lot so i've had to have a job where i can show and prove that i can be a dad who can make all the school runs pick them up drop them off to school and be able to take them to activities and and everything that I need to do as a dad. I think that they should just step away from the camera at this point, just step away. I mean, Jamie especially, as he does, he is a family vlogger. I know that Nikki, of course, does her own videos, but they're not really pertaining to the children that much. Maybe actually knowing, you know, if both of them just stepped away for a minute, stepped away from it, because no matter what comes of this, it's never going to be that good. And that's pretty much all I've really got to say about it. I know I said that last time, but I hope to God, well and truly, we are done with this. Because, like I say, it's just going to affect the children. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.